Mark Cengizi here with your science moment. Today I'm going to talk about shadow banning and why it's so socially destructive and so cruel to shadow ban somebody. A ban would be, let's say, in the comments section of some magazine where they just say, look, you've been a troll, you're not allowed to comment here anymore. So you're just sort of kicked off on Reddit or wherever it might be. A ban is just you're not allowed to be there or you're suspended from Twitter, it might be. Now, a shadow ban is where you don't know that you've been banned. You don't know that you're not there anymore. You appear to be able to comment on people's posts. You see everything and you can comment. But unbeknownst to you, nobody sees what you're doing. Nobody has any idea that you're not there. So this is fundamentally cruel in the sense that people don't even realize that, they, that all of the interactions that they're having, people aren't really replying to them or treating them in the normal way and they're wondering why. All of the interactions they're having are for naught. Right? Now, if you imagine this in real life, so what would this be like in real life? I mean, I like to interact and go to coffee shops. I like to interact with real people in the real world. They get to know who I am a little bit, you know, these small interactions every day. And over time, they say, oh, yeah, there's this guy. He comes to the, you know, they don't necessarily know anything about me personally. But, yeah, there's this guy. He comes in. He's, he's nice or whatever. And we chat a little bit at the coffee shop. But all of these places around town, slowly, people get to know who I am. But imagine being shadow banned. So I come, and I think I'm having these interactions. But they have no memory that I was ever there. They have, I wasn't really ever part of their world. They don't ever realize that I was there. What would it be like to be shadow banned in real life? It's really hard to imagine. But it, in a sense, right, this is what masks do. I can spend all my time at these different kinds of coffee shops and stores, interact on the street, everywhere I go, and I'm having these interactions with people. And yeah, I can actually interact, they actually hear me. But they don't know whether they're hearing from me or from Doug or from Judy or from Susie or whoever, whoever it is. I'm the same person as any of these others. My identity is lost in these interactions. It doesn't build up over time as the guy that's like this, where he, he seems interested in this kinds of things. No, um, this is masks are effectively a way to shadow ban all of us within society, and it gives you another kind of sense in which how it, it, it gives. Once you understand how damaging shadow bans are online, you can then better appreciate how damaging socially face masks are in real life. That was your science moment.